Independence is expected to announce a special meeting next Monday to decide whether to end a more than 15 year long pit bull ban. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco is live at Independence City Hall where City Council heard from people in favor and opposing that ban tonight. Dave. And Lauren, those against the ban say that all dogs can be dangerous, but others point to the reason that this ban was enacted here in Independence in the first place. In 2006, Allen Hill was mauled by pit bulls. He spent four months in the hospital, another year in rehab. Those opposed to the ban on pit bulls and independence that followed say criminal charges were filed against the owner and all pit bulls shouldn't be held liable. Clearly, we've got an enforcement issue. I hope that they will do something about enforcement, improved enforcement, increased enforcement of that dangerous dog ordinance. That's, that's the substance to help our citizens feel safe and enjoy their pets as well. I don't care to play Russian roulette with a breed that the odds are not in our favor. The dangerous dog ordinance is in, in fact a reactive measure whereby someone must get hurt or worse for that to kick in. The ban is being proactive. The group hoping to end the ban collected 5,600 signatures in a month. Last week they were certified and with tonight's reading of an ordinance, independence is now on the clock. It has 30 days to repeal the ban or put it on the ballot within 90 days. Because of the election calendar, that means council would have to make a decision before May 30th. But with no meeting in two weeks because of Memorial Day, a special meeting is being considered. Opponents of the ban say the city should just repeal the ban and save a costly election. Ban supporters hope it goes to voters. We want to be safe, and if we're not going to be safe by lifting this ban, then we, have, we should have a vote in that say. That special meeting was announced late tonight that's going to follow a study session on that dangerous dog ordinance that is already in place on Monday. Uh, that meeting's agenda is going to be published tomorrow, but once again, Lorton, we are hearing that it's going to involve this, whether this ban would be repealed or put on the ballot.